it, it's not a dragon, so it's 79 damage on it's, the first it, one. It's got a big crack in it. You think maybe two or three more hits, you might be able to uh, okay. destroy it. Uh, how many attacks does it have? It's going to slam you twice. Uh, okay. Um, I will take my AOs. It gets plus four on its attacks, I get AOs. <laughs> Gish, gish. Gish, 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 gish. Uh, you need some healing. Well, we'll see. Um, my second attack missed on a natural one, uh, okay. but wasn't a critical fumble. Uh, it, the first attack did 71 damage. Okay, it's still around AC 39. That's a miss. And AC minus 5 would be 37. That's a miss. Uh, that's you including your plus fours, right? Yep, that's what the plus four came cool. from. So, all right, it comes out and tries to oh, tries okay. to headbutt you a couple of times. Its its claws are more like fists, uh, and you did another seventy nine damage to yep. it. Uh, yeah, probably one more hit, and this thing will be. Yeah, the, the ones this day are making the fight more eventful. <laughs> okay, um, the dragon nods towards Barnabas. And the golem twists uh, its fingers towards you and makes sort of a crushing. He's pinching your face. He's, he's making crushing a, your head. He makes a crushing your head motion. <laughs> crushing your head. Pinching your head. Uh, it, you feel the gem in your forehead explode in pain as he's attempting to cast a explode head on Barbus. I spell you, son of a bitch. <laughs> There's incredible pressure that builds up in the target's head. Do you have 20 hit points or fewer right now? No, I, my head will not explode automatically. <laughs> Is it no save portion of that? Yeah, if you have 20 or fewer hit points, you, it just automatically kills you and your head explodes. Oh, Do you have so SR? Bad. Sorry, I will make my fortitude save. Do you have SR? Uh, no SR. Okay. Uh, you can make a minus 40 or save given that you have a gem of geode in your head. Failed. Okay, you take the full damage. Yep. You take 50 damage to your head. Uh, who does? Barnabas. Barnabas. Uh, Are you still alive? Yeah. Uh, Do you need to make a fort save? I made a fort save. No, no. Do you have more than 50 hit points left? Yeah. Okay. Barnabas cried out, and, his, and he's bleeding out of his ears, and he clutched his head. What happened? Uh, this golem thing pointed at Barnabas. Yeah. Uh, Barnabas' head, you, could, you, could all, you actually saw indentations and pulses, and his eyes went, like, buggy. Oh, that's not good. Tried to explode Barnabas' head. That's not alive! Oh, that's not good! Agony's not here. Top of the round. Renos. Absolutely wrecking everything around him. Uh, <laughs> Get bigger. No, I'm not wasting my time getting bigger. Um, Don't waste the time! I'll spend a mythic point to get rid of my power attack penalty for iterative attacks. Okay. Um, hopefully this dungeon isn't too deep, if you know what I mean. Because yeah. we're... Step one. <laughs> step one. This better be step, step last. All right. Uh... And then we're going to start pummeling away. Uh, we're targeting the big glowy one in front who's doing horrible spells. This thing. Yes. Okay. Um, we will uh, attack it um, until it stops moving. Uh, AC 62. <laughs> yeah. AC 52, rolling a 2. <laughs> also a hit. Um, I will roll my damage, my, the first two damages, and I'll see what I do with my last attack. Yeah. Alright, um, so it's... These aren't ray attacks, are they? <laughs> no, they're not ray attacks. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's his cool power. <laughs> 95 damage on the first swing. Oh, god, okay. Uh, I'm not going to double this one. 
It's hurt and bloody. Okay. Didn't have to save or die? Nope. Okay. Uh, on the second one. You know, it had more than 95 hit points left. Okay. Uh, I'm going to double that, so 180 damage. I'll spend a bit of point. Ugh. Uh, you drop the thing to minus. Minus 14. Don't you dare glow now! Uh, <laughs> and it's falling off the, the cliff. Uh, Who cast the... Um, oh, I just didn't mind. Uh, one, it bumps into Branos on the way down. Okay, okay. give me a reflex on. save. Okay. It falls off the side of the, the cliff. Uh, it's it's only in the thirties. Okay, yeah, you you manage to get out of the way and not take any damage. You're flying. You kind of get bumped around a little bit, but the whole the the dragon spawn okay. uh, lands in the water. It's currently on the surface of the water. So the <laughs> other amethyst that dragon elemental ex tried to explode Barnabas's head. This one did. Yes. Which means they can explode heads. <laughs> it's, a thing, yeah. it's a thing they can do. It's a thing they do, yeah. Okay, so I will use my last attack to destroy this okay. elemental. Bring the sword in backwards kind of thing with a, a different uh, uh, grip on the blade. Just stab it. Uh, sorry, that's only AC 50. Did, did they both hit? Yep. What? Or did no, just one. Uh, did so it miss? Or did it miss? It, 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 it did nothing to me. It didn't try to... Uh, 79 damage. All right. Oh, maybe it moved too far or something? Oh, okay, the crystal golem shatters. Nice. Does it explode or just break? Yeah, I, it just you stick the sword in the middle of it, it cracks and just shatters to pieces. Cool, 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 cool. All goes tumble. <gasps> all goes tumbling down into the drink. Is it an elemental? Yeah, it was an elemental of some sort. Golden elemental or something. Right? Golden, eh? Thug, that was Brennos's turn. Widget. You <laughs> son of a bitch. You fucking piece I, of I shit. Really, I really like those dragon element or what construct right. whatever they are. So Widget is going to Oh and the scintillating aura went away. The Good. confusing purple lights. That shit was cool. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't great. Um first we're going to well, actually, we're going to mythic point a moment of presence back up again. Yep. Uh, we will move action our uh, greater invisibility from the illusion domain. Okay. Uh, and then we are going to uh, greater dispel magic as a mythic point on the geode spawn. And then we're going to use a, our robe to move from where we are to be someplace, hopefully not in the explosion radius of, oh my god, all the AoEs. <laughs> sure. You roll your dispel check? Sure. Uh, this is cast at 21st cast. Great to dispel, right? Great to dispel. Fuck. Uh, uh, 25th level magic. All right, so about uh, seven, six, six or seven spells. Okay. The AC drops by eight. Eight? That's it. Shield the mage armor. Shield the mage. Yeah. What did you? What were you expecting? I don't know. Fifteen. And its <laughs> true strike is gone. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, then we trigger our robes to get the hell out of here. Uh, we're going to go. GTFO, everyone. Is this a teleportation? No, we're going to. Uh, no, he's like an extra move action. Oh, I see. Just he's going to fly a, like around and try to be the sixty feet away from the thing that tries to glow. Okay, Barnabas. Uh, Barnabas is going to. Um. Fuck this guy. Fuck. Fuck this guy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is your quest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, agreed. 
Which one? The one that tried to explode your head, or the one that, uh... Oh, no, no, the dragon. Oh, okay. Trying to explode somebody's head, that's all it's fun for me. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna try the feeble mind again. Except, uh, we're going to spend a mythic point for a quick, uh, sure casting. Yep. We'll spend a mythic point for a single action, um... For a single action, sorry, a single action feeble mind. Yep. And then we're going to stick a uh, Dave for a pick into a dragon. <laughs> I like this! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, the sure cast helps get by uh, SR. color resistance. Okay. Yeah. Make your SR check. Uh, Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Forty-three. Yeah, you get by its SR. Then it gets a saving throw. What's the DC? Uh, the DC is 37. Does 26 make it? No. Okay, the dragon has been reduced to lizard-like intelligence. All right, got more spells. No, no spell-like abilities, no spells for you. Maybe a breath weapon, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was Barnabas. Yeah, you, it stopped speaking. It's no longer telepathically projecting. Uh, anything else, Barnabas? Oh, he's going to so try to hit the unconscious hit dragon. Hit the unconscious dragon, but he won't. Oh, yeah, with he your... He can't do damage. With your, uh, your pick? He can't do damage. He doesn't... Is it magic? Nope. No, you just go away. <laughs> yeah. Ding, ding. Don't roll one because you might you know, kneecap yourself the day for a weapon. <laughs> Does that create a binge loop of. Alright. Yeah, you, you're you going to need some help. Um, That was Barnabas' turn. Now, Thogram and Howie. Damn it. Okay, what happened? Where's the cannonball? The cannonball has returned to the Howie's side. Reload. Okay, and you managed to take control of it and reload it. So at a distance. Howie, Howie reloads. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Keep keep aiming. <laughs> <laughs> Re-aim. Yep. Great over to strike. Mythic point. The um, dragon doesn't now doesn't know what danger it's in. It just and then, it is. And, and then <laughs> does, does you just get blessed that Brenos gave you. To re-roll? No, you roll twice at the beginning. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> and, um, Papa, let's explode this dragon. Papa. There's Howie. Uh, seven <laughs> circle spell. Burn. Energy's flowing from uh, the room into the cannon. The cannon is glowing with a fierce energy. Okay, so... Plus 35. Remember how easy of a time this group has. Uh, 53. Like, some of the highest, DP, the highest DPS characters are all here. Yeah. Uh, Cog is close, but he doesn't hit good. Yeah. And against dragons, dragons are going to be hard to hit. So, no, Cog so, hits pretty good. So, Wait, if, if what's her name is there? Okay. Uh, it would have had an AC 49 had Budget not. Dispelled a bunch of shit on it, so it's AC the, the is forty one. The cannonball is also uh, it's dragon bait, right? Yep. So it does plus two. Extra, it's a plus two to hit. Plus two to hit. Two d six extra damage. Two d six. Two d six plus two extra damage. Yep. Yeah, correct. Two d six. The pl the plus two also. It's an enhancement bonus. Eighteen d six. Oh, I need I need to do crit. Did you crit? Yeah, using the what's it called. The, the name can I drank three of them. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> they last. Can you do that? Have multiple running? Uh, Weird. Anyways, you go. Do the thing. Uh, I don't, I'm not getting anything from it. Named bullet. Because I thought it was like you actually pour on a cannonball. No, it lasts for. Uh, one piece of ammunition or thrown weapon. Right, so, so it's like uh, your, your magic ball can't have three on it. You'd have three balls. Yeah, you'd have three separate balls, not the same one. Okay. Oh, it's not quick. Then 
Okay. Uh, Chris not responding. Yeah, I'm having problems with the. Uh, oh, weird. Don't worry about it. He's got a script. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's not a script. Um, yeah, you, yeah, you don't six, drink those. You six, pour them on your ball. I think the credit card I used on Glitch is uh, is expired. Is look expired, so I need to. Plus. Um, <laughs> I understand that it's a company, but if there's a company called like Glitch, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Trust a product. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like a, the old story of Chevy trying to sell the Nova. Yeah, they they know, like, oh yeah. <laughs> sell really good. Plus, it's, car, it's called a car called the Nova. There we go. It's up and right. I just now need to open the website because it, it won't run 24-7. It will run when I'm actually Rare. like testing it. And, okay. 116 I mean. damage. 116 damage? <laughs> okay. That's good damage. Bypassing its damage reduction, it's at 175. All right. The cannonball ricochets off of its chest and, and injures part of its, uh, its wing. Uh, there are little crystalline uh, pieces that are falling off of it. Yes! It hisses at you like it almost forgot how big it is that it could make a roar. It's hissing like a cat. Um, it looks like it wants to run away. Yeah, big lizard. <laughs> yeah. Is there some big dumb lizard at this point. Yes, uh, he'll, 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 he'll put all his free, free action fault the rifle. Right Okay. That's five. Twenty-nine. The sound of cannon fire and gunfire echoes throughout this under under uh, ground chamber. Uh, Forty-eight. There's a bunch of like some sort of you know, goblins or underfolk of some variety that are like, oh, something bad is happening over there. Aquatic goblin. Ghouls or whatever Brynos created. Oh. oh no, I don't want to fight that at all. That's like a terrible idea. The geode wasn't originally flooded, right? No, we flooded. This, this place wasn't flooded. Uh, 34 the, the temple you visited nearby was flooded. 34 damage. 34 damage? It's not bad. Okay. <laughs> like the bullet ricochets off of its face and little uh, crystalline pieces fall over the place. It's bleeding. I was saying doing 34 damage with no weapon. <laughs> Eamon? Plus six rifles. Oh, oh no, sorry. It's, it's, the, it's the spawn of geodes. Uh, the the thing goes down that only lasts a round, so he's no longer um, he's no longer stunned. Go get your things! <laughs> it's a lot of money! <laughs> what did he do? He dropped his scimitar and his shield? shield yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what type of shield does he have? Uh, heavy steel. He could still attach to his arm. Right. Well, it's still the Okay, so his, like his, his scimitar. His, to, yeah, his scimitar. He has to, like, ready his shield, but... Uh, the spawn of Geode. Uh, one, it flees. Two, it just goes defensive stupidly on the wall. Three, it tries, <laughs> it tries to attack. Uh, it flees. No! Get back here! Uh, Give me a one, it flees into the cavern that you're in. Two, it flees back uh, into Geode's domain. Yep. It runs along the wall and then goes down into the water. And it's sitting about 20 feet down in the water, uh, just at the bottom. Huh? <laughs> Looking up at you. Eamon. Eamon goes and gets his weapon. <laughs> With the fly spell, he's able to propel himself through the water to go find his weapon. And then, so he flies down, picks up his weapon, and flies back up. It's down there, is what he says. He's pointing at where, where it is. Rawr. Slake will go swimming up to it. <laughs> <laughs> it gets an AOO, it tries to bite at Slake. It, it's just like trying to be uh, not attacked. It 
AC 43. Just gotta check underwater combat for a second. Underwater. So Slake is eight. Two because he's doing bludgeoning. Half yeah, I don't think Slake loses AC. Oh, um, I don't, yeah, um, Slake doesn't lose AC unless he can't make the swim checks. Uh, it, it's, the water isn't fast moving, so. No. Okay. And then it, its claws are all the types, so I don't think it takes any penalties. It, its claws are especially sharp. Each of its attack rolls is also considered slashing because of its sharpness. It's like a particular power. So I think slashing uh, slashing does minus two and half damage. Yeah, yeah. you want piercing. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, claws I think still do piercing damage. Though. They do yeah. both. So dragon attacks I believe all do bludgeoning. Like they do both. Okay. So I, I think they're they do all the, I think they do all the damage. A little bit not long. Oh, it's like the tail, I think, is piercing blood or whatever. Like it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. trying to bite, which definitely does claw, piercing. The, the, bite does all, the bite does all three. All three, yeah. okay. So not at a minus two, and then not half damage. So dragons can can be sharks underwater. Uh, all right, so does AC 43 hit a slake? He does not have his shield, his shield out. He is swimming properly. He's got his mutagen out. He's raging. Uh, while raging with his mutagen, he's got an AC of 46. So the dragon missed. It's technically mythic. That isn't something that requires, like, trying hard is not something that requires a yep. lot of, like, no. thought. Yep. Animals can try hard. It, it tries real hard to bite Slake, and you see it bites him. Uh, Slake has a DR of... I know is able to laugh at a hit from one of these things. <laughs> 10 <laughs> adamantine yeah. plus 5 nothing, which stacks, so 15. It's not getting through the DR. <coughs> so the crystal dragon uh, is going to do some damage. Give Slate something to fix. 2d8 plus 18. He didn't call it power attack. That's it. Minus 15. Slake took 17 damage. Alright, Slake had to double move to swim up to it, and he's just going to slug it. So Slake so takes this, a minus. Does Slake have sl uh, spiked armor? He does? He can body check it with spiked armor without a penalty. Mm -hmm. Nah, he's just going to punch it. Okay. He's just. He's just full on power attacking. Already spent his. Uh, uh, okay. Already spent his. Uh, mythic point to get rid of the penalty. He's at plus 37, plus 4 with Barnabas' song, minus 2 for the water. It's AC 49. It's. He slams the dragon for I bet you. Uh, 57, 25, 28 damage. Cool. This might take a while. Whack! He tries to bite him, it bites him a little bit, he just punches the side of the head and it eventually lets go. Yeah, there's there's... Armor spikes, <laughs> asshole. There, there, there are bubbles coming up everywhere. The geodic golems? Hey, this one survived a round. Uh, it's... Last thing was told was to explode somebody's head. Yeah, it's um I don't know how smart they are. Its command was to do that, and let me check how many times a day it can do it. Alright, it's trying to explode Barnabas' head again. You feel this intense pressure. Minus four for having... 26. You make the save. Uh, half damage, I believe. Yep. So half of 67. You want to uh, stop him from doing that? Appreciate that. Now. <laughs> <laughs> There's blood coming out of his nose, his ears. His eyes are absolutely bloodshot. And while it was happening, it was almost like uh, Schwarzenegger on Mars, Mars. or whatever. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Not 
how space works, but sure. Uh, <laughs> you end up to a place that's like half an atmosphere. Your eyeballs pop up. You, you were not disabled or dying, right? What was that movie called? No. Okay, because I think your head pops if you were. It's good movie. If you have less than 20 hit points. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. How are you doing? He's okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Take a couple more. I'm not worried. I'm not worried my friends will save me from a terrible, terrible goal. Mm-hmm. Brenos. We just, we just wait. Brenos, get that one. <laughs> uh, Brenos will go whack the golem. Yes, coach. Because <laughs> Slake certainly seems to have the other one in hand. Uh, he provokes an AOO getting up to it. Yep, the golem will take its AOO. Okay, get a plus four to hit. I don't get an AOO back because I don't have reach. Oh, if you had reach, there'd be an AOO. <laughs> Uh, alright, fine. Uh, this is... AC 31? No. Okay. Uh, uh, Dragon body dressed up, head bite you. This one's fresh, right? Has not been injured. Okay, so we'll... we'll he looks really friendly. We'll soften it up a little bit. <laughs> the head popping... Pop that. <laughs> Stop it! Geo Dragon. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, plus 46, AC 61, critical threat, can't be created. Okay, you're sending crystals flying over. AC 48, also hit. Alright, um, doing 2d6 plus 68 each time. 78 damage, and 76 damage. 154, it is very, very injured. Widget. I'm just gonna go fish that thing off. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, you do have a reach weapon, so yeah. Yeah, well, we, we just got a reach weapon, and he's invisible, and he's my blank, and fuck this thing. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, widgets. Well, how hard are these things to hit? The crystalline amethyst geodic golems are AC 30. Okay. Uh, seven. Uh, oh, challenging, but not challenging for many okay, of you. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's just it's just roll, no roll, no roll. One. Okay, uh, hits, hits, Ooh. hits. Okay, they have DR ten at a man time. Okay, um, so I bypass their, their DRs. Um, so I'll just roll them all together because that's what we're going to do. Yeah, the the whirly gig. <laughs> little bits fly around. <laughs> All right, that might have been a little old, but somebody's actually wet in the water. What's wet down there? <laughs> yeah, the thing the thing is split all over the place. You cut it as it's falling down into the water. All the little bits come off the wall. Uh, Barnabas, your head is aching. It's gonna hold monster on the one that's under the water. The, the geode spawn thing. Yeah. Okay. That type of magic works perfectly through water. It's a medium for certain types of magic. Um, uh, yeah, I'll just do my regular. Uh, SR check first. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. SR sure is still there. Fuck off. 23. <laughs> okay, the DC is 29. He will mythic point. A world monster. <laughs> Oh, another one? Okay. That's a smarter way to do it than yeah. standing on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's one in six versus <laughs> a really good chance. Roll with the plus two. Yeah. Forty. You crack a star. Now it needs to make a will save. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Does its wisdom get affected by? No. Uh, just in charisma. Just, just, just in. Okay. Or is it just in? Or is it uh, in no, no, in charisma. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Which is why next seventeenth level I'm taking phrenotic spell. What's your wisdom as well? Uh, no, no, it affects charisma. So, fu- uh, no, it affects your mind affecting spells affect undead. So, mm, fuck, fuck you, undead. undead. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you and your con. <laughs> you have like five hit points. Okay, uh, so it just gets its regular will save. Yeah, regular will save. Yeah. Nat 20. Well, I'm 
what do I do about that? It's all good. The universe wants Slick to get injured. Thogram and Howie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just loads. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what you doing? <clears throat> He's going to double move in the water. Okay. You're gonna like put him right beside him. <laughs> right beside his head. There's an AOO in there, but uh, nice it already does already have combat reflexes. Doesn't so have combat just... reflexes, so how he's like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's got life bubble up, so okay. there's air around him. He reloaded above the water, so there's none. There's no worry about. Bond room comes closer, so you can final strike. Okay. The barrel <laughs> right against the body of the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Papa, I really like it when I'm right next to them. I like to feel their spray, Papa. One, another another mythic point so I can hit the goddamn thing. I'm sorry, see? Forty one? No, we, yeah, forty one. Correct. Oh, plus two. Oh, I didn't have to. Uh, did plus... You said it went prone, or did you just lay down there? No, okay. he, he's just he's just the he's bottom. bottom. Yeah. Okay. I didn't have to because of the two from the um, the cannonball. Okay, that's right. It, it is a dragon. It's a, so forty-one. Um, boom, boom. It almost didn't quite get it, but <laughs> with body sense. ripples from the explosion. <clears throat> I like glass forming holes and things, Papa. <laughs> I like when the spray hits me, Papa. I'm not putting any other points into it. Oh, it knows. <laughs> Morality? What? Wait until... What happens to... How is Cowie in a magic field? Fuck knows. Because I have a feeling that Howie is going to be pretty fine against boulders. <laughs> <laughs> I like to explode the balloons. Uh, 90. <laughs> hmm? 90. 90? Three twenty-seven. Okay. Uh, does it have 90 more hit points? Yes. So it doesn't need to make a save. The ball, the, the cannonball went boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Pinball wizard. All right. Um, <coughs> uh, spawn of geode. All right. This thing is going to full round attack. One is Howie. Two is Slake. Slake. It just. It's got claws and teeth, Flash and it's trying to, trying to get away, and you forced it into a corner. That's not want to go gracefully to that. Do not want. Do not want. Miss Nat 20. Slakes AC while raging without his shield out. Was it was pizza, it was... Uh, he has a 46, so critical threat, hit, miss, miss. So that's bite, claw, claw. He can't be crit, so it's two claws. Yeah, and then with the DR... DR 15. It's going to be just a peck it on the surface. 2d6 plus 13 minus 15, and two of these. Slake takes five and five damage. That sounds like a cat. All right, that wasn't enough. And with its draconic action, it's uh, trying to go away, which incurs an AOO from Slake. It's like swimming away from crawling mm -hmm. along the bottom. Slake will, will Slake will take that AOO. He hits. Right place to fit Slake is underwater, is what we've learned. A big, bad, like, electric jump. He's got a plus 32, plus 36 with Barnabas's. Oh, no, uh, sorry, plus 40 
one with Barnabas's song, minus two underwater is plus 39. He rolled a six, so AC 45. Yeah, he hit. 1d6 plus 54. Slake did 30 damage. As it tried to run away. It getting away. It doesn't have a natural swim speed, so it's crawling, moving along the bottom, trying to get away. Bubbles coming out of its mouth. Uh, the other spawn of Geode is making a... Uh, it doesn't... Making a drowning check? No, it just doesn't... Uh, well, it's, yeah, I guess it's starting to sink, but it doesn't... Uh, um, it's still bleeding. doesn't stabilize. Amen. Uh, um, I think Amen's going to... He sees your your pick in your hand. Do you want me to help you push it in? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if we got your hand, do you have any way of making it magical? Uh, I have to wipe your nose for you too. That's from the peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> he had some red onion. <laughs> Which is asking if he needs, he needs to go cast magic weapon on you for you. On it for you. No, it's fine, man. It's okay now. Let them have it. Do you get the third method? Oh, yeah. He's got third method. Thank okay. you. Everybody should. Thank you. It's about getting full of everything now. Uh, Eamon's just helping Barnabas, I guess. Uh, Slake is. No. Swimming <laughs> up with the dragon. Dragon will take his AOO. Uh, 3347, I think it hit Slake for another 15 damage. Slake's been hit more of this fight than the last five levels. And he's got 42 damage. He then punches the dragon. He hits because the dragon's spells are gone. Mm -hmm. It's like 25 damage he does. So 357 plus 25. That's already halved. It's getting really beat up. Again, Howie! <laughs> the geodic golems have all been destroyed. <coughs> Brenos. is going to dive into the water to help corral the dragon. Okay. He's going to basically get in here to surround the dragon with two moves. Uh, and he's going to like, there's an AOO in there. It already took it on sleep. Oh, okay. Then it's going and then he's going to ready to hit the dragon. The dragon's going to get away. He's providing a rage bonus to sl it's like it's a plus four rage for Brenos. Nice. <laughs> we got a plank going, and we yeah, there's there's a, a few a few buffs going. Would you? Well, don't mind if I fucking do. Uh, we're just gonna go over here and <laughs> take rule with arcane strike, which will make it magic. Whack through the thing, because I got my fourth hand. <laughs> okay, make an attack roll. Okay, uh, <laughs> uh, this thing still has its spells up, so loses quite a bit. Uh, my day four weapon, I need plus three. Uh, hold on a see me, although it's unconscious, so I don't know why that, it still counts, I just don't know why it counts. Uh, it's one from above. AC 50. Yeah, you hit it. Okay, um, so that would be, uh, how many hit points does it have left? 
It's at minus 15, and it needs to go down to minus 50 to die. Ooh, good luck with 15 plus minus 50? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that double. Uh, all right. Plus 4, plus, and then my strength. Um, this might take a while. Hi. <laughs> so, 33. Um, pretty good whack. Minus 48. Yep. Hopefully, you put your side on it. If only this thing whirled, right? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? We'll spend a mythic point for basic initiative to give it another whack. God. This is your gnome pick hammer thing, the yep. dual gnomish weapon. Yep. Uh, right. That's uh, fine. AC 47. Also a hit. You managed to crack in the same place. Uh, you kill it. Leaving this gaping hole with mythic energy pouring out of it. Oh, Barbus, right. there is a place for you to just stick your pick in now without doing any damage if you wanted to. Uh, this thing has uh, mythic rank 2. Okay. How much how many is a widget behind uh, 4? Okay, let's have a look here at the Book of Heroes. Book of Legends. You can steal one or two here and there every, every, time. every fucking time. <laughs> yes, yes I have. <laughs> Widget has 11 XP out of 22 for his fourth tier. Yeah. But you need to just, just, just play. No, go ahead. Yeah. Alright, so you don't have to you don't have to all decide on one turn in combat. Yeah, yeah. So Widget is partaking in blood theft. Almost. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, Barnabas. Barnabas is gonna cast Hellfire Ray on Geode Spawn one. I think that's a fire spell, so you have to do a big. There, there is a caster level check yep. for for this. Give me a second. Let me let me look I think this it's up. Twenty spell level. So I think it's DC twenty five or twenty six. Right Underwater. Oh my. Oh my. Casting. Wait a sec. I could sign it soul to the hell. The hell does it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I guess they're doing that a lot. <laughs> yeah. You need to make a caster level check equal to 20 plus the spell level. So what's the spell level? Uh, six. So 26 in order to make the fire spell it work. It is not a fire spell. It doesn't have the fire evil description? Evocation evil. Oh. Oh, right. okay. Sorry. Sorry. It just has hellfire in its name. name. Hellfire is infernal damage. Which means you don't get a plus one caster level for Volcanica. Interesting. Uh, what's the their SR again? Twenty nine. Oh, fuck off. Mythic <laughs> point. I make it. Okay. Uh, the amethyst dragon has ray reflection. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, shit. I thought it had no spells up. No, it doesn't. It's not it's not it's 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 a, why didn't I know this? You mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear. I, yeah, I did mention. Good thing it's not rays. Yep. It, uh, the, ray, the rays came up a couple times. It's not a ray that you're talking with. Okay, let me read this. It reflects rays back at its source if the rays fail to overcome the dragon's SR. I overcame the SR. So you overcame the SR, so it doesn't reflect back at you. But Barnabas knows <laughs> that their their scales are dangerous. No, I did overcome the SR. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So you know in the future. You know in the future. Like you yeah. saw oh, yeah, some yeah, yeah. of the you saw some oh, of the light diffusing, you're like, oh that could have been bad. <laughs> well we mythic pointed to get it over the yeah, That's right. Yeah. Can we use these scales to make an ability on armor that has an SR that does that same thing? I mean you could probably craft a thing craft you know. a thing with some This is fucking hilarious. Oh my god, this is gonna be fucking funny if you fucking <laughs> What's happening? Okay, he just fucker. consigned his own soul to hell. <laughs> Who's that? He, Barnabas killed himself with his rays. No, 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 no. no. no you, he, you bypassed that star, so it hits the he, dragon, hits not, the you. not you. Oh, if I, okay. If you failed, then it's, instead of failing, okay, it comes right back in. 14 damage. Okay, you're, you're like, <laughs> how did I just set myself to hell? <laughs> <laughs> you went 
can't even be immune to that secondary effect. What are you doing here? Get back to the mortal world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. Uh, um, <laughs> we get to add more clauses. <laughs> 114 damage, yeah. and it's not fire. No. And it does no save. There's, there's, there's. Oh, versus the. Uh, no, there's no save. There, there's a will save. Versus like fear or something. Uh, no, uh, it's a uh, no to not go to hell. Oh. It goes into a gem. You see, the gems go. <laughs> we can also use this on like the. Oh, half. you oh you hit it with two rays to get thirty d six. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, so I, I got two, at fifteenth level you get two rays. And you only have to roll SR once for a spell. Yeah. That's right. Okay, yeah, two rays go boiling into the water. They're evil evocation, not fire. It does say half the damage is fire, but it's not a fire descriptor spell. So yeah. the the hateful profane energy keeps it safe from the water. <laughs> <laughs> Raging. And now it needs to make a will save or go to hell. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Would that shit work on the uh, DC on 33 the, on the Dracolich? Uh, yeah. 1d20 plus 22. Yeah. It gets a 35. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it? Is it? Oh yeah. Oh, four, wait, wait. Well, well, is it dead though? Uh, four hundred and ninety-six damage drops it to. That fifty. Minus fifty. Minus four thirty-seven. Right now it's at minus fifty-nine. So yes, you did okay, kill, you it. kill it. Okay, okay. you did. Nice. Time to drink, boys. And you think that maybe it's it's so close to its god's domain, or maybe this creature might be like an actual crystalline growth off of geode like little guardians that it drops that you might you might see these creatures again um Do you remember me <laughs> oh shit <laughs> however they have been imbued with mythic energy and there's this gaping hole where where you now recognize the sign of mythic energy that creature also is a mythic rank two creature uh, slight, uh, thumping, thumping thing. <clears throat> all right who is committing the blood theft um, widget for one. Widget's mm -hmm. doing one. Blood um, theft of uh, spawn of geode. One point. And we also take the point, then you'll take both. So we'll come take a point, then you'll okay. take one. Uh, he's on the point there, flies Slake, up. <laughs> Slake will hit the dragon, or kind of yep. basically put his... his um, Dayfer will gauntlet into the into the hole and grrr, eyes glowing green as he's absorbing a point. Uh, what's his name? Uh, how he will jump in there with a little spike. How the little spike comes out and you could hear how he laughing underwater. It's a chilling. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's gross. Uh, so Slake has one point. Where do you get? You don't stick anything in there where they're going to see it? Oh, it's it probably out. best I don't smell like geodes, I mean, just in case I have to deal with it again. That's not, it's not the worst, not the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Thogrim, you are at 11 XP. You know you're bleeding from your eyes, your ears, your nose. Howie, I mean, there's more yeah. words up here, get off your eyes! I've been doing that to people, I'm terrible! <laughs> <laughs> that really hurts. <happens. laughs> Brenos? Uh, no. You're not eating any of these? He's already at four. But he's... Okay. He's currently having it. No! Not right now! They need to be strong too! Yeah, I do, but they need to be having a fight with Drake in his head. <laughs> Perhaps I want one. Oh, so... Just a little tame. <laughs> Drake. Yeah. 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 Dream you for a it's point. a new god. Do it. Not an old god. But maybe we can study it. And this knowledge is done. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Well, I mean, if nobody else has showed up, we could take one and see what happens. One up, uh, the one from the top. Oh. Okay, so. Uh, you, you see Barnabas kind of telling Eamon, like, he doesn't want it. Okay, 
you know, stick the sword in. Do you feel okay. he deserved it? You feel the clutches of the dwarf not there. He's got one hand on your shoulder, the other hand grabbing the blade. Yeah. The blade, for some reason, Barnabas, is now smoldering. It's almost like Brenos touching the pommel or the, the hilt, uh, so the handle of his blade is causing the blade to smoke. Brenos, you know it's actually uh, the dwarf not there. Yeah. Grip is smoking. Yep. Uh, and Brenos absorbs some of the mythic power. It seems to be very... Uh, it doesn't look like the kind of like the thunder and quicksilver that normally happens when Brenos absorbs it. Curious. Feeling all right there, bud? <laughs> Recycled just as I expected. This energy is ours. But your good will be more. The new gods are simply taking from the older. Just taking it back. So much of it, so greedy. <laughs> so powerful. Don't know where to strike. Don't know where to put the daggers in. Just needs a face. <laughs> I have no faces. One of them's got five. At least I, I didn't see that on that, did I? <laughs> <laughs> Inside thought, inside okay, thought. Well, that mythic energy, like, you gave a proper tithing to uh, uh, Durinka. So, which is also interesting because this god very well could have stole Durinka's power because they have almost identical portfolios. Knowledge and magic. <laughs> With dragon greed. <laughs> greed. <laughs> I don't think you should go in there. Understood. Oh, you're a little freaked out as you're listening to a one-way conversation with Bredo said something. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> that was great! It's <laughs> like his eyes flickering uh, uranium green. Uh, Dogrim, you feel that how he did did wonderful, kind of rides up underneath you, and you're sort of riding on him as he comes yeah. over the water. Who always uh, survives Barnabas' casting are two these... critical wounds on himself? Question, yep. Are these dragons wearing anything? Um, it, it, surprisingly not. Not. Golems. You might be able to salvage some of the amethyst from the golem things. They also do look like they were recently crafted, or like... It's like Geode makes things out of the amethyst. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, you're I a little can, confused. I can, I can shrink it, uh, shrink the parts and just go. Well, there are no parts. It's like one big rock creature. Sure, I'll shrink that got right. shattered right. into a hundred pieces by. Uh, Is there something I can craft? Widget and uh, give me a knowledge or can. You can add four because you're a golem. Crafter guy. We almost balanced out our law of evil, good chaos spectrum. Uh, Brannas, Barnas, Barnabas heals you for 42. Uh, 30. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, how do you, do you need healing yourself? Uh, he healed himself already. 32. Uh, he's got 10 damage left. Um, okay. you're not sure how okay. these ones are specifically created. But you know that you you have this vague idea that it it's not just am amethyst out of any type of like rock crystal or crystal you might be able to create a golem. Uh, you'd have to study them more to know exactly what the, what's required. They're quite expensive. They are one hundred and twenty-seven thousand. They explode people's heads. Uh, Sixty-seven thousand craft cost. So I'll I'll collect what I can, or shrink it as I go. Okay. And if you wanted to look at the the entry, the entry for the monster, that would be interesting to make. Explode head as a spell ability. That's, That's fucking it. gross, man. Yeah. Yeah, he, he took a couple uh, cure light wounds extracts, so he's only got four damage left. 
Cool. Okay. Uh, are, are you gonna? So you gonna put your fancy souls in there or something? Uh, oh yeah, 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 I gotta go take care of that. Barnabas is gonna go. Oh, one second. I think Barnabas is gonna. I think I've got removed here. Um, we're gonna remove here and everybody. Okay. That's new. The spell that's on the list, and yes, you cast remove fear to get rid of the. Oh, right, you're inside here with Dogra. Uh, then Brennus is going to veil you to look like one of the those um, golems, uh, Druger, uh, one of the psionic Drugers that we met. Um, that had that were also the Geo members dealing with the the stone giants. Uh, okay, Drugar, Drugar, sorry, yeah. Um, so it'll last for a couple of minutes, and you can go plant your your spooky seeds <laughs> while looking like not you. <laughs> Let's go. So we look like Durgar. Okay. Uh, all of you are going in, or just Barnabas? Uh, well, Barnabas isn't going in. Okay. Uh, I think it's just Barnabas. Barnabas and Amy on a go. Is Widget following... Oh, Sneakily. I'm going to go a different map. It's called the Geodic Hall. Yeah. Barnabas, you start going down a tunnel, and then there's a, a vertical shaft that leads into, if you recall, this place. Yeah, that's the place. Yeah. This massive geode. You do see a couple of golems wandering around in the geode. You don't see any draconic things, and you don't see the manifestation of Geode himself. Okay. Um, what is... Do, do. You're down here. Guys, so... <laughs> no. There we go. Well, uh, come over I here. I appreciate the color scheme, but it's a little bright in here. Uh, you get used to it. We'll drop one over here. Okay, so describe what you're doing to get the gem out. Oh, he goes into his uh, smuggler's pouch. Yep. Uh, reaches down to the hidden... Uh, uh, there are six or, There yeah. are six bumps underneath your skin. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you have some gems that have souls no, in them he, that he are... Gets, uh, <clears throat> One got bring it to bring one to my hand. Yes, master. Worm guts are moving through your body, and he takes it out, and he kind of pulls on it. You take about a damage as as he's pulling this thing out, roughly that was affixed to your rib, and then worm uh, worm grin has it, and there you go. And we will place it delicately in a spot over here. He means just. Watching, he's concerned. He's also looking around, and then Widget has been spying on you for some time, so you know that this horrible little imp lives inside of Barnabas now. It's not a parrot. <laughs> I think everybody at this point knows. This one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Barnabas basically takes the gemstone and puts it down. You notice for a moment, uh, like there, almost like a blink of an eye, uh, some crystalline growth grows around it, and sort of. Encapsulates the the soul stone. You move over to the other side over here and drop another one. Okay. Uh, nobody seems to be noticing Barnabas flying around depositing these stones. Another point of damage is your. Okay. I can take it. Right. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason as to where Barnabas is going. No, he's just the golems spreading them out over here. Okay. The golems are ignoring. Yeah, they they're just moving around slowly amongst the crystalline areas. You avoid them. They they don't seem to be reacting to your presence in any okay. in any horrible way. Then over there. I don't know if it matters where I'm putting them. That's just interesting to see. There, you can bring 
One, a couple right to the top there. One there, one like right at the top. Okay, you feel here so deep within Geode's domain. You, you've started to see like there are other little tiny crystals that are not exactly amethysts or things that are slowly turning into amethysts that are littered throughout the place. Uh, Barnabas, when you actually touch like Geode, you can hear voices in the clusters. Yep. You know that there are crowds of souls that are in this place all talking and muttering and communing and meeting of minds in the afterlife. There's the spark of mental energy. It's just so it's just so bad you weren't able to... Nah, hell, Hell's gifts will be... I'll have access to it soon. Don't worry. <laughs> It'll all be a big library. It'll be part of this library. I'm going to think so. Are there? Fair question. If they're empty, you don't know whether or not like this, these huge hunks of amethyst could store souls. They possibly can, but it might be a different way that it's done. Yep. Yeah. We're not gonna it. No. <sighs> no. I, I'm I'm like what's his name? It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> you should find one here. <laughs> Easy to study. Look. Okay. Stop. Once I drop off all the gems, zip, yeah. out, zip out of here. One in twelve chance that Geode returns while you're in his domain. Oh, if I roll no, one. No, 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 no. Nope. Woo. Hell hath keepeth the creature busy. Thanks, Mogo. <laughs> well, that's, thanks, Asmodeus. He's got some one of his contract devils doing a, some sort of Oh, I got this soul you Some sort of soul sort of... exchange or yeah, yeah. something, yep. Just another piece on the board doing there's its work. The, there's uh, whatever, one of the, the Eds or whatever they are, the, um, uh, what's the name of your lawyer? Oh, um, Stu. Stu. Yeah, one of the Stu 304 is doing some sort of deal. <laughs> we should get out of here. Great. No more left for now. This is, this is Worm Grin. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get GTFO. Okay, are you just flying out of there or are you casting spells to go? No, we're, we're just gonna leave the way we came in. Okay, avoiding the golems. Yes. And then you manage to rejoin rejoin the party. Yep. Seems to take a while for Barnabas to, to come back. The party's Kind of waiting for you. Yeah, the fuck up in there. The floating, <laughs> the floating disc had disappeared with the death of the dragons. The dragon bodies and all the golem bits are all on the bottom. Uh, Thogrim, you've harvested between the two golems. You have enough if you could somehow transport it to to put together one golem. You have two thousand seven hundred fifty pounds of broken amethyst so crystal. I have enough for one golem? You, you have to now find a way to repair the broken... You have the starting point so, for one of these crystal so shrink, golems. So shrink item and all of it. You can cast it multiple times. I'm Seth. Okay. So you, you, you shrink some of the larger pieces and you're collecting up little pieces. So you've got 2,750 pounds of 2700. broken amethyst crystal. Okay. Need a beer and a steak, boys. Done good. Uh, agreed. I'm using the word good loosely. <laughs> okay, Barnabas, you, by crossing this, like swimming over or flying through this area here. Oops, uh, let me force you guys. Was the, 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 the edge of its domain is, is this archway. And there's no metal or anything in there. No, it was all amethyst. Hmm. Were you thinking about trying to get a, a bit of it to, to make a tuning fork? Yeah. Okay, you can go running back in. You're pretty sure that 
with some sort of fabricate spell, or if you got a big enough piece of it, maybe you could chisel what away like a tuning fork that is actually made out of crystal, and maybe that would be sufficient. Fabricate, bring it junk. Can I make make some from what I have? Oh, it needs to be amethyst from the right part of the amethyst. Yeah. Just go back and get another. Is Barnabas going back in? Oh. <laughs> Barnabas is going back in. Okay. I'm going to roll another D12. <laughs> nope. Geode is busy. <laughs> All right, you got this chunk. You're like, I hope that's enough. <laughs> A fabricate spell might be able to craft this like really quickly if you wanted to. Uh... Yeah, well... Uh, the same way you did the cannonball into the tuning fork in, in Thogram's realm when he almost trapped you there? Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's good stuff. I'm going to my domain. I'm going to get home. Well, you're a crafter now, right? Yes. So you can make craft checks with spells to make a thing. Yes. And that's what we will be doing when we get home. <laughs> okay, so you have a you have a, 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 a hunk of amethyst from Geode's realm. Okay, it's ready to teleport the frick out of here. Okay, Barnabas comes hurrying back. He's got this big stone in his hands, cradled like a baby. <laughs> Slake hands onto the wall. He's like, I'm shutting down now. Don't fucking leave me here. <laughs> he wakes up. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> oh, where, where are we teleporting to? From the mansion, from the mansion. Okay. Widget is going to put a burlap sack on... Uh, Slake's head, so we can't see when he wakes up. <laughs> That's just mean. I'm not gonna stop you, but. <laughs> yeah. All right. Having spent a good amount of mythic points and oh yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah that was a lot of mythic. The the group absconds with a bit of uh with a uh, a bit of material from Geode's hole. Uh, will likely be able to craft their own tuning fork to make it easier to go back there to deposit the souls next time. Yep. Less chance of raising alarm. Oh, uh, maybe before we leave, we'll disintegrate the bodies. Okay. You guys have enough magic to do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, all, you all are horrible. <laughs> like, <laughs> well... The golems don't need to be disintegrated because right. somebody's the, harvesting that's, 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 that's the, the dragons. And the dragons, yeah, you, you disintegrate them. They you leave uh, little little bits and piles of, of amethyst that are kind of washed into the water, and, and uh, the trace of your evil deeds are... Uh, the, the greatest trace of our, of our deeds are going to be the big slate tracks along the bottom of those. <laughs> so, so there's going to be fabricates that are happening yep. here in the cannon shop in the wall. And okay. The uh, and the tracks that we've left. You're gonna cover up Slake's tracks on the floor, all the way that he walked. How far did he walk? Oh, uh, like all the way from the yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something very heavy punched the dragons, <laughs> or, or did something to the dragons. Something disturbed. A golem showed, showed up. Yeah. yeah. All right, but you repair the wall to make it not look like yeah, it's no a cannon. cannonball. Turn it down like a cannon. Yeah, yeah. Cannon yeah. Some I signed my cannonball on it. It's over there. <laughs> oh, and which is like, which was like, I really want to write my name on something. I didn't. I really wanted to kind of be like, you know, I was here. Widget was here. Ha ha ha. Nope. Brenda Bond of a Snow King. <laughs> <laughs> the Archmage was here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, you guys leave. You're not sure. Like half of you don't even know what the fuck Barnabas wanted to do here, but quite clearly, this is no longer Barnabas's god. <laughs> so I take it you found more religion. No. Mm-hmm. No, I did not. So well then, what are you? What are you? What you're doing now? I am writing a. Um, what do you want to call it? A. Uh, Universal blood. All right. So what about the thing in your forehead? What about it? Don't pop it out. No, not yet. What happens if you die with it in there? Nothing. All right. 
Am I gonna have to crusade through some godforsaken plane to get your soul back to tell me a secret in the future, or are you gonna be someplace that's easy to find? Oh no, <laughs> I, I have negotiated a, a deal with the Dark Age upon my demise. My soul will be consigned to oblivion. That's a terrible deal. Why would you want that? <laughs> It's terrible. It's a terrible fate. It's what fate there is. No. Yeah. You've not seen hell. It's Just give me away his money. It's the same fate, really. I'll never give him up. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Somebody is a pawn. I knew that game, and I'm at least a knight, if not a rook. Mm-hmm. The castle in the corner is powerful and can move around, but doesn't wear a dress. There are so many boards. I don't know what the other half is saying, but you definitely wear a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody needs the fancy pants over there. <laughs> Who do you want to talk to in our sleep? <laughs> it's kind of a question that's like a general question. <laughs> I... Someone else can do it. I don't fucking want to talk to anyone. I don't talk in my sleep. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so we got something. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Yeah. Sleep. Two hours. No, he's still talking to someone. That's a new way to talk to the Hawk and that. That would be interesting. Oh, for fuck's sake, fuck it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the only thing I'd be oh, telling Vulcan is he's an asshole. Huh. Actually, Th- Thogrim's gonna, Thogrim's gonna head over to the forge with the, the, the Vulcanites or whatever they're called. Okay. The Thogrim gets up. Yeah. He's leaving the manor. Anybody need anything for me? Yes? No? No? Alright. Nice and stuff. <laughs> well, you want to talk to your kitty cat? Is that what? Yeah. <laughs> you I have the plans for different weapons. Esh Munazar. Esh. Thogrim's going to sit down and draw plans for the Thunder Cannons. You don't just remember who brings you the goodies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that's a good downtime activity. Uh, you might want to fix that in. It's probably five days of research and some pretend what? pretend visits to the uh, uh, the, to the place where, yeah like, oh yes I see everything's well oiled oh, good job good job yeah Six this is a pro this is a project you're trying to reverse engineer existing tech it, it's well within your wheelhouse at this level and your ability to do but it, it just takes time to do it so if you've got a block um, Given that this didn't take very long, you could definitely jam that into the current block in the downtime. Oh. Us in the forest is going to be running around like assholes. It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> we're going to be there for a while. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> so and these guys basically did it in an hour. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, how long is it going to take? <laughs> we're in downtime mode, so yeah. you got you actually spent a night to get ready. Well, and we, then... we spent a night to get ready. We prepped our spells. Yep. Barnabas is writing a eulogy for Lord Jarak. He builds a um, time tracker, thunder guns. Or, All right, yeah, the geode visit didn't take very long. It's, it was just an encounter. So geode visits last build thunder gun. Yep. Give me a knowledge architecture engineering or a craft firearms check. Okay. Hey, Thongrims, come here. <laughs> sure. It's helpful to have people doing calculations you. for you. <laughs> Work out the size of the barrel. You, the knife. You, the heat. You, the little ones that you use. Timing is going to be super important for a thunder gun. Uh, yep. So you if it bangs at the wrong time, the whole thing goes boom. <laughs> engineering? Mm-hmm. Do you have That's five or more ranks in engineering? Yeah. Do you have, and then what, what's higher, your engineering or your craft firearms? Craft firearms, is it? Craft firearms, yeah. Craft firearms are higher. Okay. 
So maybe plus 62. And you're a siege engineer. Okay, so you get a plus four. Plus 66. Uh, <laughs> a mechanism of existence that, like in the normal existence, that's not just me, but that. No. Uh, 73, 2 from talk. 75! <laughs> 75, yeah, he's a construct. Um, you're now having ideas of not only can you, have you put together blueprints for a standard version of these, but you're pretty certain that a version of Iron Golem that you could craft has reloading two arms that are thunder guns. <laughs> like, you, you're thinking cannon golem. But with, <laughs> but with Gatling, but with Gatling guns. <laughs> yeah. So you you're like, yeah, that's good, that's good simulacra. Keep on working on that, and you're already like, how would I stick this into a, into a golem? We're gonna say in five, you have fabricate right, and you've got a, all of your archmages are doing this. So I'm actually gonna change their archmage duties into build. Uh, thunder gun. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop the activities that we didn't do for two months. Yeah, we're gonna take a day or two. <laughs> At the end of that five days, including the geode visit, you have crafted a prototype of a Mark One uh, thunder gun. Um, you did it so well that it either can be masterwork. Um, it it could do extra damage as non like a non magical extra damage. A uh, bigger magazine, superior craft, as in like it's it's not manufactured, it is crafted, so it's like a plus four to hit instead of a plus one. So it would be it would be crafted. Yes. And then we can uh, make it magic. No, at the end, this is just you. You had to figure out. Uh, just figuring it out. Just figuring it out uh, and it, building a prototype. It would be, um, so a superior grade would be plus two instead of plus one non-magic. Without magic, it'd have a plus two bonus to hit. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you put a plus two magic on it, it would be a wash. Um, I, I would say superior magazine size because I'm looking at the future. I'm not looking at. Okay, it. so you figured out a way to like kind of double stack magazine size so you've got a a non-standard way of stacking the magazine so you have double the capacity for a thunder gun. Um, Thogrim's thunder guns have double capacity. That's basically the optimization that you made. Okay. And it's masterwork. Like it's it's a plus one with double capacity. Uh, what what if you were to throw in abundant ammunition? I mean it it wouldn't need it. You, you still have to reload. Yeah. If you put in ammunition, doesn't make it so reloading doesn't happen. So there's the action to reload. You'd just be doing that at a different time. And when you reload, you would be using less ammo. But you want reloading hands, and then you want to actually put it into the item, and then you have these thunder guns that just don't run out of ammo. And then you stick them on a gold. You put, you build arms that reload, and arms that actually do. And you make it permanent? Yeah, we'll talk to Cog. <laughs> well, you golemize it, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> but you have a, you've made a Gatling gun. Where are you keeping this illegal piece of tech? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right in front of our <laughs> Right out front. <laughs> Uh, it is illegal. <laughs> it is illegal shrine to Vulcan. Where else? <laughs> uh, for now, it's going to be in our in my in my uh, uh, plane. Okay. Mark it down on your uh, yeah. on your sheet. Cool. That just happened to be two things tonight that Thogram did, which was clearly breaking the rules. Um. Reverse engineering Imperial Tech. Yeah, I, I'm doing I'm doing it with reason. 
Oh, for sure. And right. then <laughs> people always. And then <laughs> making a copy of the government's pass key. Yeah. Yeah, he thinks he should have one. Yeah, I know. If anybody. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. Right. And Vulcan would be proud of this mini gun. Yep. Yeah. And make could you, you could you could you mark down in your character sheet just near your alignment that says chaotic axe? Chaotic axe. And you're at th- you're, at, you're yeah. at a count of three right now. Chaotic axe. Better start doing something lawful. Oh, was that I gotta start doing lawful shit. shit. Where are we? Mm. One of them was uh, giving the giants uh, promise of cannons. It's a long time ago, but okay, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Uh. No, it's just alignment shift after a while. And... I forgot all about them. Yep. Chaotic acts. The second there's a... Vulcan is making so many cannons, the second there's a couple missing, something will drop off. These are very individualistic acts. They seem to have come out of nowhere, and uh, they are definitely breaking the they're, rules. They're self-serving they're, and going against laws. They're going against the laws that you've basically promised to uphold. As a dwarf, as a gun owner, as a uh, as an archmage of uh, of Overlook, it's not bad. It's just not lawful. <laughs> Make it lawful. I I need to be the head counselor. Head counselor, dwarf. You get involved. Remember before when you're like, "Fuck Overlook! I want to go to my plane and never come back." They gave you a fancy he, house. He's he's, like, he's working on his thunder gun, going. I want to be the leader. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets like, well, yeah, right. how does, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Machine gun equal, I'm the leader. I am it's the leader now. It's I am the captain But it's now. sort of insane <laughs> junta, you're going to start out in. <laughs> uh, the city's one cabin. Yeah. Alright, and then you wanted to talk to your, the Vulcan? Priest? It was just the idea. Of okay, the so he shows up while you guys are crafting. You did have to go into the cannon forge for some of the for some of the working pieces and tools, and he blessed this cannon and suggests that you name it in the name of Vulcan. Yeah, there's this big V next to the wheels. <laughs> okay, he helps consecrate this thing in the name of Vulcan. Nice. I have to pull up the picture again. Eshmunazar? No. A the Vulcan machine gun. What is it? It is a Vulcan cannon. <laughs> <laughs> right, not the actual Vulcan machine gun. <laughs> it's the M sixty one Vulcan, which is a like a massive screw you like helicopter gun. Yeah. Yeah, this is just a hand crank version of 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 wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if Sonny and the others come whining that they're getting their ass beat, Thogrim is busy building his Vulcan cannon. Yes. That's sure. that's kind of the, that's, the gist. That's fine. I, I didn't want to take Thogrim to a place of multiple dragons. No. <laughs> too, too easy of a target. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So this is the add-on to the game that we played right. earlier. This game is called... Feed me, free me, deceive me. Chaotic me. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> and uh, it's a good place to end it for reels this time. For those watching on YouTube, thanks for your support. And as Thank always, you. we hope that yeah. you enjoy this as much as we do. Peace and have a good night. And I'll splash Yay. the fin screen and all that goodness. Time to drink a beer, boys. <laughs> yeah, you